If you're tired of staring at your double chin or turkey neck in your photos, you're definitely going to want to watch this because I'm going to share eight tips to help you hide your double chin and neck woes in photos. And make sure you watch all the way to the end for bloopers and behind the scenes. I'm also going to do a little experiment. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and I help other midlife women with their digital revamps and personal reinventions. On this channel, we explore self-identity, expand our phone based visual content skills and express our creativity so we can be confident online and create meaningful content. I've photographed many kinds of women over the years, mostly entrepreneurial women who are building their personal brands online. One of the most common complaints I hear from them are their concerns about their neck area, either their double chin or their turkey neck. As we get older, the neck area just seems to get worse and we tend to notice its supposed flaws more and more. So knowing a handful of tips to help you conceal or diminish this problem area will give you back the confidence to keep showing up in photos, whether they are professional photos or self portraits. In the old days, we were told to lift our chins for photos, but that just draws attention to the problem area and also makes your eyes smaller. I've seen people recommending bizarre solutions to the double chin and turkey neck problem from full blown surgery to neck tape. What I'm sharing is a few minor posing tweaks and other considerations to help you minimize the noticeability of your neck area issues in photos. A few years ago, I published a video about hiding double chins in photos. But to be honest, even though it's had a couple of thousand views, it's really quite a cuck video. So today I'm updating my tips for double chins and turkey necks in photos and adding a bit more production value. <laughs> Over the last few years, I've started to notice how my turkey neck is getting worse, especially when I accidentally switch on the selfie camera while I'm taking a flat lay photo. Ugh. But before I allow my inner critic to start beating me up about my saggy chin skin, I remind myself of the simple techniques I'm about to share with you and how I can reverse or minimize the awful neck catastrophe that is a double chin or a turkey neck. Let me know which of these tips in this video helped you solve your double chin and turkey neck pose. Have you ever tried neck tape? Did it work for you? And let me know what other tips you'd like to see videos about to help you become more confident on camera. Shout out to Caroline Dale, the thesis coach who commented on my last video. I'm glad you'll be making use of those arm slimming tips, Caroline, and I can't wait to see your photos. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. So the first tip is the half swallow. What's the half swallow? Exactly what it sounds like. You know, when you go into swallow, if you stop halfway through the process of swallowing, all of this area here tends to tuck up into your mouth cavity. It's a bit bizarre, but take a look. You see the difference? So try stopping halfway through a swallow just as the photo shutter goes. Watch again. It works. It's a bit weird, but it works. Tip number two is lean forward. So grab yourself a chair or perhaps do this on a table or a desk. When you lean forward onto the back of a chair or onto a desk, you are automatically bringing your head forward. You're bringing your chin outwards. You're also going down ever so slightly, which will lead to two other tips that I'm going to share shortly. That will instantly define your jawline and hide the problem area. Related to that tip is laugh forward. A lot of people make the mistake and they get those cringe photos when they are caught mid laugh. Naturally, we all tend to laugh backwards, like <laughs> 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 and then invariably that's when the photographer catches you. So if you can, while you're having your photo taken, while you're in the studio, while you're taking your own photo, try and laugh forward. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to our next tip which is the turtleneck pose and this is essentially what you're doing in the previous two tips and that is to lean your forehead towards the camera hence it being called the turtleneck pose so think of yourself as a turtle you are pushing your head towards the camera. You can also think of it as pushing your chin forward and down. I prefer to think of it as pushing your forehead towards the camera. What that does is it defines your jawline, so it gives you more of a definition over here, or a more definite line. And with that little tip, with that little dip of your chin over here, that tends to cover any of the problem area beneath here. From the side, it feels weird and it looks weird because we're doing that. 
but from the front as long as you're looking directly into the camera then forehead towards the camera forward and down now be mindful not to bring your shoulders with you so you're sh it's not about the bad posture and then you just may end up being a, a hunchback so keep your shoulders down and your shoulders rolled back so that posture is good and then chin forward and down or forehead towards the camera and that's the turtleneck pose speaking of turtlenecks you could also just put on a turtleneck jumper that'll instantly cover up your double chin and turkey neck woes you could also use a scarf now before i get into the last three tips i do want to test a theory there is this silly concept called neck tape apparently women actually tape their necks to get rid of their double chin and turkey necks. I'm gonna give it a bash. I don't have any neck tape because I'm not gonna go and buy some, but I do have this, what do you call this tape? Gaffer tape? I don't know what you call this tape, but I'm gonna use this tape, so. Yes, I'll do. So apparently you Stick it here. Doesn't work. Versus. Yeah, I don't know if I can see much of a difference, but I do feel it. I'm gonna say go ahead and skip that one. On to the next real tip, and that is to raise your camera angle. So rather than having your camera down low, looking up towards you, where all of this is on display, elevate your camera, and you'll get that same kind of effect with the chin line here. So. So you don't want to be too high, otherwise that's just going to make everything look a very weird shape. You just want to have it slightly higher than your eye line, as opposed to looking down. The next tip is to elevate your light source. If you've got a light source down from the bottom, it's just going to highlight everything that is under your chin. When you've got a higher elevated light source, it casts a shadow underneath your chin and that shadow helps to hide your, your double chin and your turkey neck. If you happen to notice that your light source is beneath you, then try and find a different light source or change the light source so that it is higher, just higher than your eye line. And then the last tip, if you are really dedicated to the cause, is makeup contouring. Professional makeup artists have really mastered the skill of contouring. They are able to help define your jawline and define your chin and hide all of the, the parts that you don't want to be on display with effective and clever makeup contouring. It's all about light and shadows, as you can see. So make sure you try out these in front of a mirror or in your selfie camera so that you can get it just right. If you enjoyed watching this video with its great tips and awesome production value, then you'll love this video that teaches you how to slim your arms in photos. You might even enjoy this posing manual that gives you 101 posing ideas for your photos. If you've appreciated the tips I've shared and how I've put them together in this video, which took me hours and hours to make, please show me by liking this video and leaving at least a camera emoji in the comments and subscribing to my channel. Those simple actions inspire me to keep creating and sharing more videos like this, only better. And now for the bloopers. Thanks for watching. Then all of this. So try, so try, so try swap by leaning forward. I'm meaning lean, this essentially is what you're doing with the previous poses. Put on a turtle thing. Put on a turtleneck dump. There is this silly. And then lastly, this is if you really are dedicated. And lastly, if you enjoyed watching this video with this, if you enjoyed. Mm -mm -mm.